Bhakti Hawa, Bhakti Hawa Shai, Bhakti Hawa Bashim, Hawa Shai, Bashim, Hawa Kakra Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And I want to say Shalom to the all for elect. Now, as your brother Karat is out back with another lesson through the spirit, probably Hawa Bashim, Hawa Shai, Bashim, Hawa Kakra Dash. I want to give <coughs> a Shari Halawam to all you brothers and sisters that uh, listen and do forth your best effort to do the will of Hawa Bashim, Hawa Shai. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to speak on free will, all right? But before I, I get the definition of free will, let me get the scripture that's in Job, the 33rd chapter. <clears throat> this is Job 33 and 15. In a dream and a vision of the night, so when you're sleeping, all right, when deep sleep falls upon men and slumberings upon the bed, so when you're sleeping, then he openeth the ears of men and still of their instruction. All right, the Lord plants in your mind what it is that you're going to do for the next day. Right here is biblical proof of that, the scriptures, okay? That's when I say biblical, that's what I mean by biblical proof. Job 33 and 15. So when people say that they have free will, and the answer is wrong. You do not have free will, okay? You cannot do what it is that you want to do. All right? Our lives and everything that we see before us is already written. Everything is predestined, okay? All right. <clears throat> so let me get this definition of free will, and then I'm going to get the definition of predestined. All right. Free will, which we do not have. Free will. It says the power of acting without the constraint of necessity or, fa or fate. The ability to act at one's own discretion. <laughs> You do not act at your discretion. You act at the discretion of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay? All right. You do what the Lord wants you to do. You do what the Lord programmed you to do. Okay? And thus far, the Lord had programmed you to go off. Okay? All right. The, the Lord had programmed you to do what He wants you to do. Okay? So let's look at the word predestined. Predestination. Predestination. All right. Uh, it says the divine foreordering of all that will happen, especially with regard to the salvation of some and not others. It will particularly associate with the teachings of, I, I don't know any of that, St. Augustine and Hippo and, and F. Calvin. All right. <laughs> so, Salvation is predestined, all right? What it, is, what, it, what it is that you go through in regards to your life is predestined, all right? I'm going to read this. What does predestination mean? The act of predestinating, the state of being predestined. Put that down. The doctrine uh, that Yahweh, in consequence of his foreknowledge of all events, inf infallibly guides those who are destined for salvation. And those that are destined for salvation are saved through faith, man, and grace in the Lord, not by the works, okay? All right? And grace is predestined, okay? <laughs> but going back into <coughs> free will, okay? go get uh let's see this lord's will if it be the lord's will i'm trying to find it i can't off the top of my head or that yep it's james 4 15 for ye ought to say, if the Lord will. So it's all about the will of the Lord. We shall live or and do this or that. All right? So if it's what the Lord will, this is what it is that we will do or what it is that we will not do. All right? So let's look up this word, will. All Strong's G, 2309. 
Thello. Thello. All right, the word is Thello, okay? And that's in the Greek. And it says, to will, have in mind, intend. So whatever the word, whatever the Lord Salak has in his mind or he intends for us to do, which he seals within our minds while we're sleeping, we're going to do so, okay? All right? Whatever his purpose is, it says to purpose, to to desire, to wish, okay? Whatever the Lord desires us to do or wills us to do, it is sealed within our instructions by us being asleep, okay? <clears throat> okay, so let me get let me get this. This is Isaiah 63 and 17, okay? This is another scripture proving that we have no free will. It says, O Lord, Yahabashim al Shai, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our hearts from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have tried down thy sanctuary. We are thine, thou hast bearest rule over them. Thou never bears rule over them. They were not called by thy name. We are called by the name of the Lord. That's predestined. Right? Put that down. Don't touch that. <clears throat> but the whole point is number 17. Okay? Verse 17, which I'm going to read again. It says, O Yahabashim al why hast thou made us? To err from thy ways. The Lord calls us to sin against him so he can show forth his power and fulfill all the scriptures that is written in the Old Testament and in the New Testament in regards to salvation for the Israelites. Okay? All right, and, and harden our hearts from thy fear. Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of thine inheritance. And we are the Israelites, the tribes of the Lord's inheritance. Okay? But my whole point of reading it is, is you have no choice in what it is that you do. The Lord has made you do what it is that you do. Okay, get two more scriptures. This is Jeremiah 10 and 23. Oh, Yahabashim al Shai, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to, to direct his steps. The Lord guides our steps, man. That's why we have to pray for the Lord to guide our steps in truth and in justice, man. I was reading the book of Tobit earlier, and, and Tobit prayed unto the Lord. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> that he, he could be taken out of this earth. But that man walked in truth and in justice, man. All right. He he he, he gave alms. He uh, buried the dead of Israel when they were being hung. Okay. All right. Um, he, he went and sacrificed unto the Lord when everybody else was sacrificing to the heathen gods. Okay. All right. That was an upright man. All right. But the Lord put the spirit on that man to be upright. All right. The Lord is the father of spirits, man. Let me find that right quick. Lord can put a spirit on you to do this, and the Lord can spirit put a spirit on you to do that. All right, this is Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, all right? Like, if you're a father, you correct your kid, all right? You were a kid, your father, if he was in the household, he corrected you, all right? And we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits and live? The Father of Spirits is Yahweh Shai, and how we are, how, and how we, how are we under subjection unto Him through His will, all right, through His way, through His word, all right, through His law that He gave unto the Israelites, man. Okay. Let me grab this in Proverbs. Then I'm gonna close out, man. There's no such thing as free will, all right, and it's inspiration. For this lesson came by me sitting down talking to a Jake, explaining to him that he's an Israelite man. Okay, all right. Somebody that I grew up in the world in the world with. He 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 seems to understand. All right, but he has to like we all have have to and continue to do come up out of the ways of the world. All right, Lord will that that happens with that man. Okay. All right, but Proverbs twenty twenty four, man's goings are of you. How about Shema Shai? How can a man then understand his own way? You are not in control of what it is that you do. 
the Lord put the spirit on me to do this lesson to talk about free will. That was the Lord's will, not mine, not anybody else's. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it was the Lord's will. The Lord's will shall be done. Okay. All right. On earth as it is in heaven. That's what we pray when we pray the Lord's prayer. Right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. And I want to say Shalom to the whole full elect. Kwame Asherala and my wife, Laba Ball. Shalom.